Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess. If this is your first time here, thank you for checking out my channel. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Today, we're going to decorate my journal for the week of March 4th through the 10th. And I'm going to use Seasonal Basics by Kell of a Plan. And we're going to use the winter stickers in here. These ones are really pretty. And I think this is probably the last week that I'm going to do a winter spread. Uh, next week is the week of St. Patrick's Day, and I I'm not going to have St. Patrick's Day spreads in all of my planners, but I will in a couple of them, and the rest of them I probably won't do uh, winter spreads and the week after that, I think, is the first day of spring. So we are moving on to spring, and I cannot wait. I am so ready for springtime. We're going to put washi on the top and bottom this week. This washi is kind of wide, but we're doing it anyway. I feel like I haven't done this in a while. Actually, that's a lie. I just recently put washi on the top and bottom for my horizontal this week, the week of the fourth, but I haven't been doing it that much lately. I wanna start with a dark gray double box from journaling, neutral journaling boxes from Mojo Jojo, and we're gonna layer it with this one. So, I'm just going to take some sticker release paper and let's see how I want to layer it. I want this one down first and then we'll layer this kind of on top of it. Uh, maybe like maybe here. And then I think we'll put it just kind of like in the middle. Uh, maybe we will line this box up to the side of the Monday box, but not uh, on the to the top of it. Kind of like that. Oh, that's so crooked. What happened? Okay, I can't leave that. That is just way too crooked. We might need to get out the undo. Let's see. I did put it on that sticker release paper first, so it may have taken enough of the stickiness off of it. All right, now I think the problem is that this was not straight. All right, we ripped like real bad. Let's put this down like right here. see if I can salvage this. Okay, there we go. I feel like this washi color choice was not the best. Let me get, how do we feel about this one instead? I think that's a better choice. So, so far this spread is not going so well. <laughs> We're just not having a good time. All right, I'm gonna take all this washi off and replace it and I'll be right back. I replaced the washi and I think it's a better choice. It's not the best choice. I really wanted a gray one, but uh, in all of the washi that I have, I couldn't find gray washi, which to me seems crazy because I have so much washi, but uh, I didn't, I couldn't find any gray, uh, gray washi, gray grid washi, but even gray washi, I couldn't find any. So 
maybe I'm going to need to put that on my list of things to buy. Although, if I'm being honest, I do not need more washi. <laughs> but I feel like you have to have gray washi, right? I'm going to put this flower down here, kind of in the corner. And I'm trying to decide if I want to overlap it with this box. And if I do, I'm going to probably want to white out behind it. All right, so let's white this part of the box out right here. It's actually not covering up very well. I'm going to use uh, this Tombow Mono Correction Tape, and I don't know how it, how well it's going to work since I have that uh, other one on it, but I think it's working pretty well. Okay, and then maybe just like a tiny bit more. And then we'll cover this line up with my Uniball Signo pen. Put another box right about here. I love these teacups. Should we have these teacups sitting on top of this box? Maybe I'll put them on this side uh, on top of a different color box So because this bottom part is brown and that box is the same color. So we're going to hold off on those until the other side of the page. There's a little like beanie hat. I'm gonna just put that right there. And we'll white out here and here. I actually didn't white out behind the this darker part because you really won't see it. I mean, I guess you see it a little bit, but that's okay with me. How about a couple of quotes? There's this one that says, there's no winter without snow. And we certainly had some snow this winter. I'm ready for it to be done. We're just gonna wipe this line out. I want another little quote for up here, but in this book, there aren't any that are a good size, I don't think. I'm going to take a look in Hello Winter because I know that the quotes in here are small. We can ha take a snuggle up and watch it snow. Snowflake Kisses and Winter Wishes. We can do that one. Mm, put it right here. Moving on to the right side of the page, we're going to start with a sidebar sticker, but I might want to put one of these, like layer it with one of these, probably on the bottom. So... Let's see what our options are. Let's see. Maybe the hot chocolate one. This is too much gray. Kind of like this one too. Maybe we'll use this one. put this one down at the bottom first. And then we'll put this one 
above it. There's another one of these flowers that I want to put on this side and I think we'll put it over here uh, on this side it's going to be too close to that gray so can we kind of put it next to this teacup and then maybe put like one of these double boxes have it like resting on the double box I think that's a good idea I think it might be a good idea I'm gonna wait this line out. This is a pretty dark clear sticker, but still wanted to white it out. Okay, and then maybe I'll put it like down here. Just because I don't want uh it's a it's clear, so I can't really layer it over because you'll see that floral behind it, but I can put it like right here. And then maybe we could do like a, like a full box with like a square box uh, if we layer them. So let's get a couple of boxes. So maybe something like this, where we put this full box here Oh, I said this way, right? Yeah, let's put it this way. And then if we put this kind of layered here with this on top. What do we think about that idea? I think that could be cute. So I'm gonna just put this down like right here. And then we'll put this box kind of wanted it to layer more, but then it's not going to be even. So we'll just put it right here, like right next to this box. I'll put one more box up here. And then maybe another, like a gray box right here. Uh, we're gonna use Let It Snow somewhere else because I am tired of the snow. So we'll put that where maybe right here and I want to put another one here how about this one winter is a season of recovery and preparation I don't love that it's kind of right across from that one but I really wanted, there's no other spot to put a quote and I really wanna put it here. Maybe if I put it up a little higher. I'll cover up this line. Then it won't seem like it's directly across from this one. And then we have a couple of spaces that we can Fill in, let's see if there's anything that would look cute in those spots. Just a little like reindeer guy. I'm gonna put, put that there. I don't really have anything to stick in that spot, so we're just going to center this. And I think that that will help and then I won't need to add anything else to that spot down there. So I'll just put this like right here.
This one started out a little rough, I'm not gonna lie, but I think I pulled it together in the end. This is likely going to be my last winter spread until next year. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you could hit that like button. That would be great. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.